morning. Okay, well, no, no, no. It's right at 12 o'clock. Tuesday afternoon. And this is where we're at. So I had a, uh, I guess it's a retread on that trailer tire back there. If y'all remember, I was kind of skeptical on grabbing that trailer when I got it. When I did my drop and hook. Uh, and she led us here. My instinct was right. But I only grabbed that trailer because it was clean. And I knew I was hauling paper rolls, so I knew it would be, the trailer had to be cleaned out. But clean didn't mean better. And it just had a recent inspection done on it too. But we're here in Jackson, Mississippi at the pilot. Here I was getting fuel, walked around the truck. You know, you know how I like to walk around and see stuff and mid-trip inspection. And uh saw that. So I was like, dang man. So but thankfully we're here at the Goodyear, so they'll get us situated. Thankfully they were not busy, there was nobody in line. Lance started answering the phone, like just like that, in like 30 seconds. So we should be in and out of here pretty soon, but I'll get back to y'all here in a little bit. Y'all roll that intro and we'll see uh, how this turns out. We're done. <clears throat> I don't know what it is about Jackson, Mississippi, man. I just, I can't stand coming here. Customer service is always whatever. Uh, I had went next door to the McDonald's to get something to eat, but I waited for them to change my tire and They didn't have nothing in stock. Nobody was really hustling to do anything. It was just ridiculous. But one thing I do give them, uh, they were pretty quick on uh, changing out my tire. By the time I went in there to get something to eat and uh, finished eating, came back out, they were done. I was like, oh snap, all right, cool. So thank God this wasn't a, a all day ordeal. Like see, even like me backing up out of here, there's nobody guiding me. Even when I pulled in here, nobody's like, hey, pull in, pull in, you know, stop, nothing. But anyway, so while I was sitting there eating, I did find a load. I've done this load before us picking up out of Kathleen, Georgia. So we're gonna have to dead head out of Florida because the rates coming out of Florida which is no bueno. So we're gonna have to dead head out of Florida up to Southern Georgia. And uh, which is fine because by the time we drop this load off, it's gonna be probably late. It shouldn't be late in the day, but like stuff like this with this tire is definitely gonna set us back. So keeping that in mind. <clears throat> but when we get parked tonight, we should only be about a good, I don't know, two to three hours away. That'll be two or three hours that we've used on our clock that day. So we'll still have like another good eight hours of driving to 
dead hit. I think it's about 300 miles, 350 miles up in Georgia. It was a little going down, paid 350 a mile. So paid us, I think $3,000. So I'm just trying to book the right low because it's picking up out of Kathleen, Georgia, going to Memphis. It's a Frito-Lay low. We've done this low before. Uh, back when I had to post the uh, Lone Star. But uh, now it's got to pick the uh, the perfect low coming out to make to make everything worthwhile for the week. So park it out of the way for right now. And uh, go look at this tire, make sure they did everything they needed to and we're gonna get on out of here. But I do see some good lows coming out of Memphis because Memphis is a really good area. So need to pick the right one. So. But yeah, so that's why y'all have to do your mid trip inspections whenever you're on the road and getting fuel or stop for a few minutes. Always do a walk around. <clears throat> and then Landstar tried to have them put another. Uh, Another retread on here, but they were like, well, we don't have any retreads in stock. We only have new virgin tires. So they went ahead and put that tire on for us. But there she is, a lot better. But I cannot stress that enough. Whenever you're on the road and you stop for even a few minutes, just walk around your truck. I didn't even see the rubber fly off. And then whenever they do work on your truck, always make sure it's done right. Cause you just never know. All right, so we've been sitting here for about an hour, a little over an hour or so. We are still about 10 and a half hours to 11 hours away from Park City, Florida. It's just east of Tampa. So we'll have the dead head out of there. But like I said, right now we're in Jackson, Mississippi. But my phone is blowing up with loads coming out of Memphis, which, I, like I said, Memphis is a hot area. Turn right onto South Gallatin Street, then turn left to merge onto US 49 South toward Meridian. The crime rate being so high out there, and they're targeting truckers and uh, robbing truck drivers. Right, you come on first, come on. But yeah, the, uh, the robbery theft rate out there is pretty high for uh, for truck drivers right now in Memphis. So when we get out there, we're gonna have to be careful. And I do have my tandem slid back to the 41. I got weighed yesterday and the weight was like perfect. So we should have a pretty easy, uh, the easy trip down here to, to Florida. All right, dude, I need you to pull out so I can see behind these trees. By the comment, nope. But yeah, this load is a uh, Go past the street, then use the left lane to merge onto US 49 South toward Meridian. 43,000 pounds is some change. Oh, actually, uh, we need to go east. Use the left lane to merge onto US 49 South. So we're not gonna do too much interstate driving until we get down to I-10. Taking some back roads down. But uh, good thing I caught that because there's a scale house down here we got to go through. And I know they can check tire pressure and stuff. I should have had those guys at the tire shop uh, check my air pressure for me, but that's okay. Because some of these scales can read your uh, your tire pressure when you get up on them. In three quarters of a mile, 
Take exit 47A on the right onto I-20 East toward Hattiesburg. All right, right y'all, we got some back roads, bunch of farmlands to hit today. Uh, this morning, even I woke up, I was like, dang, man, I need to get some content. And I was like, I don't know what to talk about. And then uh, that tire thing happened. I said, oh, there we go. There's my content. So anyway, let's uh, let's get some miles in. And uh, we're going to take 49 south. Right. Oh. Use the right two lanes to take exit 47A on the right onto I-20 East toward Hattiesburg. Construction down here. Whoa, whoa. Right. Uh, please, can we exit? Okay, yeah. Keep right. Then take exit 47A to merge onto US 49 South That's toward Hattiesburg. Get around that scout house. All right, cool. I ain't gonna complain. Use the right two lanes to take exit 47A to merge onto US 49 South toward Hattiesburg. The skill house is off of 20. Got right around them. But, all right, guys, let's get some miles in.
Chill. Whoa. Ballin' like it's game time. Locked in when it's game time. Yeah, I'm ballin' like it's game time. Locked in when it's game time. I put in work, couldn't wait for mine. I got now, couldn't wait in line. Game time, game time. Locked in when it's game time. Uh, shoot from deep like a Curry three and uh, I go beast like a uh, 23. Uh huh. Ten toes down, glued to the concrete and uh, I do me keep to myself to find my peace. Mm hmm. Been balling a little bit. Woke up feeling rich. Still remember days I had to grind to get a cent. Still remember days when I spent a penny pinch. Now this bank account is lit and it's up and it's stuck just like Cardi said. Same faces around me and it's hardly friends. Saying how you do it, but you hardly did. Fibbing on the ground, yeah, you probably is. Ballin like it's game time. Locked in when it's game time. Yeah, I'm ballin' like it's game time. Locked in when it's game time. I put in work, couldn't wait for mine. I got now, couldn't wait in line. Game time, game time. Locked in when it's game time. Locked in when it's game time. time. Pull up from the logo like it's game time. Catch me on the same time. No, no, no. Time is money, so I cannot give away time. On the road still, on the go still. Humble, so I keep it on the low still. Say they know what's up, but they don't really know still. See the glow up, and I can't believe the glow still. Me plus me, that's a whole lot of money. Wake up in the morning, I can smell the bag coming. Three whole years, and these records keep running. Don't talk to me if you can't match the numbers. Ballin'. Like it's game time. Locked in when it's game time. Yeah, I'm ballin'. Like it's game time. Locked in when it's game time. I put in work, couldn't wait for mine. I got now, couldn't wait in line. Game time. Game time. Locked in when it's game time. Alright, guys, we have made it to Mobile, Alabama. Bunch of back roads to get here, a bunch of twisting and turning, starting and stopping. If y'all go back and watch the time lapse, we passed up old Frank Nitty, YouTuber. Right there when we got off of 49 on to 59. Uh, he was going the opposite way. He's actually going where we just came from. And we're going where he just came from. But well, let's see. Come on, baby. Come on. I know we're heavy, but you can do it. Come on, baby. There you go. You see the top? You see it right there? There she is. Look, right there. Yeah, I was going to take 65 down to I-10, but usually that traffic is backed up right there where the, uh, the tunnel's at. So, uh, taking the bypass around. This is usually the way I go. I think last time, we had to come through here because we were hazmat. And I was trying to figure out where I was and which way I was going. So we're taking this route again. This is 90, alternate 90. Actually, this alternate 90, if we take it all the way back to Texas, I live right there off of alternate 90. Oh, let's slow down here. Yeah, there's the port, a well, part of it anyway. Okay, 55 miles an hour, we good, we good. That's the I-10 junction ahead, bump, there we go. And this should merge onto I-10 when we get down here. But this is definitely gonna get us around the tunnel. Trucks entering and leaving roadway, okay. Some tankers over there. Detour I-10 East, okay. Just a center point terminal, okay.
Yeah, I know this way isn't as fun as going through the tunnel, but it is 4.15 in the afternoon. And I already know that traffic's backed up right off of I-10. And according to my GPS, we got some traffic up here. All right, y'all, I'll get with y'all here in a little bit. Let's deal with this traffic. I seen this little rest area here and uh, I seen a few rest areas and I was just gonna keep going but I gotta stop I could not pass this up look at that seen a few opportunities to stop but uh if you look at the time lapse from us driving a little short distance from last time i talked to y'all you see where the battleships were they have like a little navy uh little navy memorial i wanted to go there but uh i didn't really know the area too too well like to where to park the truck and the truck be okay but you can see some oil rigs way down there and the battleships are on the other side of this little, little piece right here. But and then if you look way back there, you can see the top of uh, downtown Mobile. But I've always wanted to stop here, just never got the chance. But uh, we're just taking our time going down there to uh, Florida. But of course, cattle holler. Water smells so fresh. Can't beat it, man. Yeah, absolutely beautiful out here. Yeah, Gulf of Mexico. Actually, if you look way down there, you can see it's raining there. But there is a hurricane or a tropical storm on its way to Florida right now. So, but anyway, while we're parked, let's do a little walk around of the truck, make sure we're good, and then we're going to go up there on the bridge and sit in that traffic up there, as y'all see behind us. But I've seen a few places I can stop. Now that I know about the spot down here, we'll be stopping down here on a more regular basis. But for you Landstar drivers, they're going to be, oh, you're sitting, dog. Ooh, no, this is a designated parking spot. And we're more than 14 feet off of the side of the road. But I see, like I said, I've seen some places back there I could park at. But now that I know this is here, whenever I come through here, we're gonna stop. So let's get one more uh, good little look back there. And uh, let's get back to rolling. Take a step into the river Get down on your knees Come to the mountain We'll take it in the view You will find the life is
Step into the river and get down on your knees.
We're about four hours away, four and a half hours away from our delivery. And so uh, I booked some more loads. I'm walking to a Waffle House, y'all. That's a Waffle House up the street. Uh, so I need to get up in the morning. Actually, luckily I found parking. There's only one spot left right there. But uh, I booked another load. So we're dropping this load off in... Uh, uh, what is it? Plant City, Florida, which is just east of Tampa, but west of Lakeland, Florida, right off of I-4, I think. We're dropping this load off. We're going to day ahead up to uh, Kathleen, Georgia, pick up a load of Frito-Lay. We've done that before. Super light load. That is going over to Memphis, Tennessee. And then from Memphis, Tennessee, we're going down. We're picking up a load out of Memphis and that is going down to Orlando. And then that is where we'll probably do our 34 hour break uh, this coming weekend in Orlando, Florida. Uh, the reason I booked that load is because me having a deadhead tomorrow and I'm delivering this load late, it's gonna be difficult for me to find a load coming out. So I'm gonna miss a day of revenue, but that load going down to uh, Orlando pay like, what was it, like 2,500, 2,600, something like that. And it will give me $6,500 for the rep for the revenue for the week. And then also, because I was looking for a load coming out of Memphis, there were plenty of loads coming out, but nothing that would give me my, my revenue for the week because I missed out. I would have been just short at like $5,500 for, for the week. So there was nothing that made sense. Uh, this is what's called a CGI load, agency CGI, probably FedEx. And so, uh, We've done these loads before, but usually when I go to like Kansas or Colorado, I've done these FedEx loads before. So it's going from terminal to terminal. We, don't, we won't have to do the whole relay thing where we meet up with a driver. So but yeah, it's going down to Orlando. So we'll be doing our 34 hour break in uh, Orlando, Florida. It's been a while since I've been down there. So anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. Um, I'm going to get me some Waffle House, do some editing, and I am going to uh, call it a night, get some good sleep, because we have a long couple of days ahead of us, so uh, it's a bunch of back and forth, so we got a bit of a deadhead to do tomorrow, but anyway, thank y'all for watching. Um, I met up, well, we have some stuff coming up here pretty soon. I do have an update on the Volvo, which I will... Uh, tell you guys probably later on in a week so anyway thank you all for watching this is Lone Star Texas Ranger signing off I'll catch you guys at noon central standard time tomorrow <laughs>